Welcome to Reef Diary, day 92. It's been 12 days since I cleaned out the algae turf scrubber, so we're going to go ahead and do that today. Uh, the algae growth looks great. I almost feel like I should do it at least two days sooner to avoid the red growth that you saw in there. All clean. Here it is, all cleaned up, ready to go back into its location under the reef tank. This is how much hair algae was removed, and it's still soaking wet, so I grabbed two hands and put the camera down and squeezed it out, and it looks like I made something, oh, I'd say it's definitely the size of a baseball, not quite a softball. This is the area where it goes inside, and I just took a little peek in there, even though I haven't cleaned it in a while. Once the drawer is put into place, I open a valve to start the flow back in there, and then what'll happen is water will run down the sheet, and it'll kind of rinse off some of this green stuff a little bit. But I rinsed it in the sink first, and it's been growing really, really well. So I'm very pleased with week after week of pulling out green hair algae. It's nearly 1030, so it's time to do a quick overview of the tank and see what needs to be done. Uh, one thing that's been annoying me is this little snail here has got a lot of bologna algae on it. So I would like that to uh, be removed. In other words, I need to pick it off. This one here. Same problem. Uh, other than that, everything's fine down here. I noticed the top off container is mostly full, so I'm good with that. Lights are working fine on the tank. Refugium looks good. Let's take a look at the protein skimmers. Okay, I'm gonna empty out this one because it's already full and it's trying to bubble out the top. I still have some cyano happening here. I'm not really sure why, but you know, there's just a little bit of life in there, so I'm not too concerned with it. This waste collector is plenty full, it needs to be drained. Protein skimmer looks good. Just cleaned the algae turf scrubber. Calcium reactor is dripping at pretty much the right rate. And I do need to do some cleaning in here. And I definitely want to clean in here. And I want to pull out those heaters and verify that all three are still working properly but not tonight. I just mean, these are things I want to keep track of, of what I may need to work on. The Versa is still spinning properly. I still have power going to the saltwater bath that has about 100 gallons of water left. Nope, that's well, 50, 40, 30, 20. Yeah, 100 gallons of water in here. So I have 100 gallons of salt water. And the glass has been cleaned again. Now, I seem to have to do that every single day. One thing that just caught my eye is down here, the surface of this water is looking icky. So, I'm going to do the same thing I mentioned the other day. Grab a bucket of water, use a net, and just scoop this stuff off the surface because there's no reason to keep it in here. This must be due to a lack of flow. It's just not enough activity through this zone, so it's causing a little bit of a gross buildup. But just scooping this off is a very simple solution to making it a little bit better. After the slime was removed, I looked at the flow going into the skimmer section. It seemed really, really slow. I looked at the Vectra pump and the driver was at one dot. So I looked in Mobius and it's at 4%. Ever since I let the Vectra get detected by Mobius, apparently it changed the speed a few days ago to almost nothing. So I cranked it back up to where I feel would be good, which is about 65% of the flow. Much better. And the pump is now back to 65%. Waste collector's empty. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's Reef Diary, and I'll see you again tomorrow.